I think they're coming up too, aren't they? Yeah. All right, good afternoon, everyone. As everyone makes their way up here, just a quick overview of the proverbial ground rules. Again, just make sure your phones are on silent. So we can respect the coaches and athletes. Uh, as we go around, we'll uh, ask you to provide your you know, name and your affiliation. Uh, if you're on Zoom, uh, just use the raise hand function. We'll try to get to you as much as we can. Um, format is, you know, that we'll start with an opening statement from the coach, uh, and then we'll have approximately eight minutes for questions for the student athletes, and then about another 10 minutes for the coach afterwards. All right. So, uh, without further ado, coach, opening statement. Thank you. Uh, first, I just want to congratulate uh, a Kelly in Tennessee on just an outstanding game, and what a great year that that her ball club had. We knew coming into this that, that it was going to be a battle. Uh, I've, I've got too much respect for that program, for her, their staff, uh, to have thought anything else. And that's exactly what we prepared for. Uh, and that's what took place here. And the, 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 this crew here sitting next to me is just, uh, they're, they're, they're tough kids. They're, they're tough kids. They, they, they bust their ass. Uh, you know, they let me coach. They they let me coach them hard. They let me push them, and you know, our ultimate goal it was to continue to be able to play. And we're fortunate enough now to get the opportunity to play on on, on Monday night. But it, it's going to take a lot of rests, a lot of regen, and then figure out who who we're going to play tomorrow on M Monday night. But just really proud of this ball club, really proud of these kids and uh, honored to be their coach. Okay, we have um, Emily Engsler, <clears throat> Chelsea Hall, and Haley Van Lith for um, Louisville. We'll right. open it for questions. Let's start here on this side. Chelsea Cameron from the Courier Journal. That third quarter, you came out, hit a three right away. Had not, I think you had nine in that quarter. Um, really helped you guys keep pace in Tennessee went on a run. How big was that? Um, and kind of what were you seeing on the floor? Yeah, I was just kind of trying to do what, whatever I had to do to help my team. Uh, coach called my number, so I knew I could go out there and execute. My teammates were getting me the ball, and yeah, so I was just trying to play with confidence. Um, and if that meant I had to put the ball in the basket, then that was that. But I mean, we're all capable of that, so uh, it helps. Okay, we'll go here to the end, then we'll go to the middle. Uh, this one's for Emily. You, that lead got cut down to, I think, two in the fourth quarter, and then you guys really took control back. What did you guys see or do differently for the rest of that quarter to kind of take control? Uh, I think we pulled, it, we pulled each other together, and we've practiced telling each other to stay calm and collective. And I think Coach Wallace has um, been telling us that for past, the past week. Uh, I think that's where our faults were when we took losses, and we just wanted to change everything we did wrong so that we wouldn't lose in the fourth quarter again. That's exactly what we did. So I'm, I'm really proud of the team. Okay, right here in the middle. Uh, also for Emily, Tim Sullivan, Courier Journal. Uh, after you picked up your third foul in the third quarter, it looks like uh, Coach Walls had to calm you down a little bit. Uh, you managed to play the rest of the game without fouling. Uh, and you had three players with three pretty early. How much did that influence the way that the game went and Tennessee's ability to come back? And how do you, how do you play with <clears throat> mindful that you're in a little foul trouble? I mean, don't foul. I like, we, we didn't stop being aggressive, per se. But you know there's certain things not to risk. Um, sometimes Coach Wells has to remind us of that, and that's OK. Um, but we don't ever want it to affect the way we play defense because that can change the game. And I don't think it, we, let it do, we let it do that. We have high IQ on this team, and we know when we're not supposed to foul. And that's exactly what we did. We weren't worried. OK, go in front, then we'll go back. Haley, like Tyler said, that, that game got cut to two in that fourth quarter. You guys have had, like, you've had games you've lost in the fourth quarter. How much did those games, the Miami game, maybe the, even the NC State game, come into play? Um, and just how you guys prepared, and you, you knew you'd be able to get back, take, take back control of that game? <laughs> Yeah, you know, we just kept reminding each other that um, as long as we get stops and rebound, 
will be up two no matter what if we score or not. So I think we just really emphasize stops, rebounds, gaining control of the ball, and not getting live, live ball turnovers on offense. Um, and we were able to execute that. Uh, all of our players stepped up and um, got rebounds and made good plays on defense, and uh, we were able to pull away. So. OK, let's go middle there. Then we'll come back up to the front. All right, I have two, if that's OK. Um, Jeff, how did you keep um, Tamari Key from being effective? Oh, this is. I'm asking you a question. Oh, I'm so, I thought we were going to. Uh, all oh, is it just first? Oh, yeah. Merit for first student. Uh, no, that's OK. Yeah, so get, get them. I, I thought it was student athletes well, first. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. OK. That's OK. Um, I, I wasn't being. I'm sorry. I no, it's fine. Um, <laughs> text to my wife. Go ahead. Yeah, don't let me interrupt that. <laughs> um, Haley, that block you had, you've had other blocks, but just you were really fired up after that. Have you, is that your best block? And just um, does that kind of demonstrate sort of the go all out attitude of this team? Yeah, you know, I got up pretty high. So um, the team makes fun of me because they say I'm not athletic sometimes. And I got up on that one. So uh, I was pretty excited. No, I mean, um, you got to take advantage of those moments. If you don't get excited about those moments, then what are you playing hard for? So we had a great crowd. Uh, my teammates were excited. I was excited. So we took advantage of it. And every ounce of momentum that we could get, we ran with it. So back here in front. Oh, this one's for all the players. Just having the opportunity now to play for a chance to go to the Final Four, what does that mean to the three of you? Okay. Emily, let's start with you. <clears throat> it's kind of weird. I've never been here. Um, I don't know. It's been a really long journey, and I just think that, you know, I feel, you know sometimes you just have a feeling, and I really feel good about this team and this program, and I think that we're going to get there, but I do think we have to continue to keep our mind on one thing and one game at a time, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do some recovery. We're going to take a break. We're going to get back to the scout. And um, hopefully we see all you guys at the Final Four. Okay. Cool. Next. Um, <clears throat> go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, similar to what Emily said, this is my first time in the tournament, so I'm just grateful for this opportunity. I'm playing with a bunch of great girls. Uh, I wouldn't want to be here with anyone else, so we're just excited to co continue to keep playing. Hey, yeah, I just I think it's what you work all year for, and. Um, when you have an opportunity like our team, like why would you give it up? Um, we're gonna we're gonna run with it as long as we can, and we're gonna give it everything we got, and um, we're gonna fight till the end and play the Louisville way. Um, and just watching like how much my teammates have grown this year, how much I've grown, um, like you you can't you can't give up on something that we work so hard for. So we're gonna take advantage of it to the best of our ability. Uh, and I have two questions: one for you, Haley; one for you, Chelsea. I'll start with you, Haley. You were with this group when you played Stanford in the Elite Eight last year. How much is that motivation for you guys to get over the hump this year? And Chelsea, like you said, you have never been in this tournament. Playing in this moment, having that third quarter, um, what, what is that like? Because I know that's why you came here to play in these type of moments. OK. Um, I mean, obviously, I was there last year. I lost in the Elite Eight. You know, we, we had him at half, and um, we let him come back on us. But this team is so much different, you know. Um, the vibe is different. I wouldn't even compare uh, the feeling um, from last year to this year. I remember what it felt like to lose and have to walk with our head down off that court. Um, and I'm never going to forget it. And I'm going to play like it happened uh, on Monday. But I mean, this team is a, is a whole new group. And I have confidence in us that we're going to execute our scout and our game plan. and. Um, we're going to give it the best fight we got. So Let's go back in the middle, then we'll come back up front. Or, I'm sorry, go ahead. Can you, can you repeat your question again, please? Sorry. Just, you came to Louisville to play in these type of big moments. And you had a big third quarter. And like you said, you'd never been in this tournament. Just what does this mean to you to be able to uh, have moments like this in this tournament? Um, I mean, it's, it's what basketball is all about. It's fun to play basketball. And it's fun playing with a group of girls like this. So. I'm just going out, playing, doing whatever I have to do to help my team, and we're going to play hard. We're going to fight, and it's just been an, an amazing experience. I'm, I'm living it all up right now. Okay. Now we'll go back. Now we'll come up. Um, Haley, you jumped up when you were coming off the, you know, through the tunnel to give a fan a hug, and I understand she spoke to your team this season. Just wondering what that meant, or you know, why you were prompted to do that. Yeah, you know. Uh, She's a special lady to us, and uh, she's like our team grandma. Um, she loves us all to death, and um, 
she's been through a lot, you know, and I think when she talked to us, she told us about the battles that she's been through in life, and it just, it just humbles you, and uh, we're really out here playing a, a game, um, and it, it really just keeps life in perspective that uh, we just have fun with it because uh, at the end of the day, life is really hard, and this is the only chance we get at this sport with this team, and if you're not having fun, then you're, you're not doing the right thing. So uh, she, she sent a really strong message to our team, and, and we love her, and we're so grateful that she's here because she's very symbolic for us. So uh, hopefully I get a hugger on Monday again, too. Okay, got one time, time for one more question. Take it up front here. Well, I actually have two questions for uh, Haley. First, uh, <laughs> sorry. You got a, a double-digit lead pretty early with a lot of turnovers. Did they make an adjustment that made them less susceptible to turning the ball over? And the second question is, have you heard from either Jimmy Fallon or Barack, Barack Obama? Uh, okay. First question. Um, no, I mean, I think, uh, I think uh, with our team, you can't, we can't press the whole game. We, we have to um, play with our endurance and, and uh, kind of save it up to use it when we need it. Because um, if we do play it the whole game, they are going to figure it out and they are going to get layups off of it. So we try to, u we try to use it at uh, strategic time. So we had to pull it off because we had been using it for a while. Um, and then we obviously went back to it and it worked for us. But I think, um, you know, we, we pulled it off because we have to use it strategically. But second question, I have not heard from them. Um, <laughs> I don't, I've heard that the public it wasn't a fan of my comment, but I mean, it was just a joke, and we're having fun out here, and uh, I'm sure that they laughed about it, and uh, I love both of them. I, I'm a big fan. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Smart okay. answer. Yeah. I'd like to thank the student athletes. They will let them dismiss from the podium. I'm a big fan. Thank you. Jimmy Fallon, ask me to be on your show, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make them laugh. Nobody wants to see you on TV. No one wants to see us both on TV. Okay. Together. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and open the floor for questions for a coach. Let's go ahead and start right here in the front, our way back. Jeff, I wonder if you could elaborate on the strategic use of the press and, and how you apply it and, and when you take it off. Yeah, I, you know, we, we knew coming into the game that, that we were going to have to try to tur turn them over and get points off of turnovers. Uh, and as Haley said, it's not something you can do the entire game. Uh, so I thought we started well. I thought it really set a, a tempo, uh, got, got us going. We, we scored off of it. I mean, to get 21 points off the 18 turnovers, and the big part of the game is we only turned turn the ball over seven times. Uh, so that we knew we were going to have a fit trying to keep them off the glass. So if you're going to get out rebounded, then you've got to win another statistical battle. And for us, it was going to have to be points off turnovers. And even though we gave up 23 offensive rebounds, we only gave up 13 second chance points. You know, to me, that's, that's the stat of the game. When you get it annihilated, which we did on the offensive glass, and then to only give up 13 points, because we, we end up with 14 rebounds, but then we get 12 uh, a second chance points. So overall, I was really pleased with that. And then we came back and put it back on in the fourth quarter and got them to turn the ball over a few times, got a few d d deflections that d disrupted their offense, and was able to score off of those. So I, I was really pleased. I, I was happy with the fight. Uh, at this time of year, everybody's good. Everybody's good. Don't care what seed you are. Just throw seeds out the window right now. Teams are going to make runs, and they and they made a big run. I think got back within four. Uh, I, I I don't know if it got to two. I can't remember, but I know it was four. And then we withstood that, and then we made a little bit of a run to get some uh, a separation there. The the last three and a half minutes. Okay. Have one bit. Um, what do you think that says about your team? If you could elaborate on that, the idea of you know giving up some offensive rebounds but not giving up on those plays and limiting their second chance. Well, we had talked about it. We, we had broken down a bunch of films and said, we're going to give up some O boards, but what we got to do is make sure when they get it and they shoot it again, we can't just turn and watch and get closer to the, ba the basket. So if they get the second offensive rebound, it's just a layup. So I, I thought we did a really nice job of being able to get in there. Now, the other stat that's, that's not going to be on here because I think it's – they had – of their 23 offensive boards, 10 were team offensive rebounds, which means the ball's getting knocked out of bounds. 
So they they only had 13 of them that they were able to actually get and try to go straight back up with. But they really hurt us on baseline out of bounds with their size. Uh, but overall, just what a what, what a game our kids fought. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of all of them. Okay, let's come over here to this side. Yeah, Michelle Vocal, ESPN.com. Jeff, it, it seemed like they kept giving you their best punch, if you will, and, and you guys never got rattled. Um, do, you, do you sort of say that's just sort of the character of this team? Yeah, I, it's – we we have talked about it. I mean, just watching all the men's games, the the women's games, there there's no, you know, in our league we play on Thursday Sunday. You get up twenty on somebody on a Thursday night, and a lot a lot of teams would just be like, heck, let's let's throw in the towel. We've got Sunday's game to look forward to. There is no Sunday game if you don't win the one in hand. And I really think that's what is going on. And I try to tell our kids that. It's like, I don't care if you're up 20. They're not going to quit because there's no next game. Uh, and we just kept talking about hitting singles, hitting singles. We don't need home runs. And for us to win this ball game, and, and I mean, our guards competed. I thought, you know, Kiana comes up with four steals. Haley comes up with six assists. We didn't shoot the ball very well not the way we have been shooting and we had great looks so i think it's really encouraging to sit here and and look at this and say we came out with, away with a win and didn't shoot it all that well i, I thought our bench was outstanding I, I thought our bench was the difference in the game Pey, peyton verholz came in there and really hit some huge shots for us in the first half and uh just i, I thought played really really well and that's what we're going to continue to need. Liz, Liz Dixon came, came in and battled uh, three block shots. She goes one, one for three, four boards. Because uh, Olivia, I mean, golly, she uh, she looks like a boxer in here right now. She got a big bump, bump over her eye. Um, you know, again, I, I say it all the time. You look at it, she gets three points. But the work she does, she we, – we don't win without Olivia. It's just a fact. And I'm so proud of her because she, she's such a team player. And, you know, she's continuing to develop at, at both ends of the floor. But more importantly, she, she's just a, a wonderful person. Um, you know, I, I tell her all the time, I'd take her home. You know, she's always welcome at my house because of her, her personality and how caring she is. And, and she loves her teammates and gets excited for them. And she's down there getting knocked down more than anybody on this team. But it's what she does, and, and, and she's really, really important to us. We aren't here with, without her. Okay, let's come in front, and we'll work our way. Jeff, Excellent. two questions for you. Like you said, the bench played really well, especially that first half. I know when you left Louisville, you said you need to get more out of some people. I imagine part of that was the bench, kind of their growth. Um, and then Chelsea coming up big in that third quarter when you need, needed her the most. She doesn't, yeah, she, score, she doesn't score a ton, but, when she, but she shows she can she, she 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 made some big shots for me. Chelsea, I thought played really really well. Four assists and one one turnover on the night. Uh, really made some big shots in the first half. Then that three, obviously in the third quarter. Uh, she just she she runs our team. She she does a great job of running our team. I've been trying to get her to be more more vocal. It's just not her. It but. She leads by example. She leads in the timeouts of telling people what the, what they need to do, and then she's a c competitor. And you know, when when you're willing to go out there and compete every single play, you've you've got a chance, and that and that's what she does. And yeah, our bench, what we got from Peyton, you know, I'd love to see Peyton be able to get about 13, 14 minutes uh, on, on Monday because I think she can really give us that lift because. The one thing I like about her, she ain't scared to shoot the ball. There, there, there is not a bone in her body that's nervous. She just gets that thing, she turns, and, and, and she puts it up. And she, I'm telling you, the, the, the shots she made were big-time shots for us. Um, and then Liz, and then I thought uh, Mikasa again. Her stat line, if you, look, if you look at her stat line, it's not you know, something where you're, you're going to write a story about. But... With, with, without her, we aren't adva advancing either because that kid gets in there and battles with one through five. It doesn't matter. And then she, she does a great job of getting others involved. So really, really proud, pr proud of her as well. Okay, we're going to come here, then over to this side. 
Jeff, this is Andrew Shroff with WLKY. He talked about Olivia there. I've got two questions for you. Um, did she play like Lucy expected her to play? She sure did. Okay. That, she good. worked her ass off. There ain't no question about it. L there we go. And then the Luce second. Luce will be proud of her. Good to hear. And then uh, second question. It, there's a lot of new players on this team. Haley mentioned what that feeling was like last year getting so close to going to the Final Four. How do you sort of portray what that feeling like was like for those players to these new players knowing the importance of this game? You don't worry about it. You, 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 you don't even talk, talk to them about how bad it felt, how bad it sucked to lose. I, I, that's not a, a part of the, a, of the discussion. The, the, the discussion is what we have to do to make sure we win. You know, it's, I don't care who wins. It's going to be a great game. There's no question about it. And it's going to be a hard-fought fought battle, and that's what we've got to get prepared for. We've got to get our kids prepared for what's going to be a, a, a heavyweight fight. Because when you get to the Elite Eight, that's what it is. And I, 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 know, I know our kids are going to be excited to get back to it. And after we get a chance to watch this ball game, see who wins, then we'll put a game plan together and get back at it tomorrow. And then, you know, it'll be a fun, a fun day on Monday because it's nice to be still playing. Okay, let's come over to this side. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, Eric Crawford, uh, WGRB. You mentioned missing shots and getting good looks. You missed some that I could tell when the players, when Kiana missed a little drive wide open, she couldn't believe it didn't go in. And same thing for Emily on the lob but it doesn't seem to affect them at all anymore. There may have been a time when it did, but talk about just their ability to play the next play sometimes because that's big. That's what we, we, we've, talk, we've talk, talked about this past month is you've got to play the next play. We can't let one missed shot turn into a defensive breakdown and then a forced shot. And I thought they, uh, they did a really good job of that because we got some great looks. We got some great looks off of our baseline out of bounds also, had some wide open threes and just couldn't – we, we, we couldn't get back-to-back -back shots to go down. You know, Key hits the 1-3 in the first half out of transition, and then we, we get her a beautiful three off of a set, another three, and it just, it just didn't go in. And I've seen her make three, four, five in a row, same, same with Haley. So you've got you've to figure out a way to win ugly sometimes, and I thought that's exactly what our game was tonight. It wasn't the prettiest basketball game we've played, but we figured out a way to win. We figured out a way to get to the free throw line. Uh, we didn't shoot a great per percentage, but we stepped up and knocked him down. And then we came up with some big, some big plays that, that you know, you might not pay, uh, pay attention to. You know, we sit there and miss a shot, airball it with about three on the shot clock, and the ball, it's still live. And then Casa go, goes over and grabs it, and it turns into a jump ball call. Well, it's their arrow. They, they, they were about to get it anyway if the shot clock expires. But now we get the next jump ball. And those types of plays are the ones you have to get. you got to get the 50-50 plays. Uh, Emily misses a free throw. Her, her second one, we track it down, and it turns into a jump ball call underneath our basket. Now it's their ball, but now we've got the arrow the last six minutes. And that's how you can save a timeout as well. You know, when your kid's st stuck in a trap, if you've got the arrow, there's no sense to burn a timeout sometimes because you're getting the ball. So those are the plays you have to be able to make. And I was really proud that we were able to do that tonight. Okay, one final question. Oh, yeah. I got one. Hey, Jeff, sorry if you've been asked this already about the, the fourth quarter stretch. They get it down to two. You guys come and kind of take control from there. The difference in your team in a situation like that is it just keeping the composure and, and mental IQ of the game intact and not getting caught up in everything else? Yeah, it's knowing that we've been there before. I mean, we've played some, some great teams and, and we've had some great games. And I was just impressed with how we kept our composure. We executed, uh, came up with some big baskets. And then, you know, simple things. Emily boxing out on the free throw and then it turns into a foul. So she gets to come down and we're shooting free throws. You know, those are the possessions that can change a game where we didn't even have to run an offense. You're, you're going to the line to shoot two. Uh, Haley got fouled there and, and stepped up and knocked down her free throws. And then Ke Kiana's one, her, her runner in the lane uh, that hung on the front of the rim and went in. And then, you know, there's shots that are, it, it takes some luck. I mean, at the end of the third quarter, Burrell's three hits the back of the iron and rolls in. 
And then Kiana had one in the fourth quarter that hit the back of the iron, the front of the rim, and rolled off. It, it's part of the game. You know, I say it all the time. It's why it's called March Madness. You know, it's not a best of five. And they're 18 to 20. Well, now with, with, with COVID, they're 18 to 27. You know, but they're normally 18 to 22-year-olds. So you never know what's going to happen. But that's why everybody tunes into the games and they watch them. It's the excitement. So we're just blessed to still have the opportunity to still be playing. We're really looking forward to a great ball game uh, on Monday night, and I'm looking forward to going back to the hotel and having a stiff drink. <laughs> all right. Thank you, I Coach. I'm afraid that's Thank all the time we have. Thank you, everyone. We'll have the other team in here in a few minutes.